Gemini is great at answering lots of our queries, but you need to have an internet connection for it to work. If you're building an offline capable web app, this can sometimes create friction for your users when the magical experience of using AI has gone. So here at Firebase, we decided to improve upon our existing AI APIs and introduce a hybrid AI API. This new API allows you to work with both an on-device model provided within the Chrome browser and a cloud-based model. With this setup, you can first try to run inference using an on-device model to help reduce inference time, allowing your web app to quickly deliver the experience to your users without having to rely on an internet connection. Let's get started setting up your machine for on-device AI inference. You'll need to flip a few flags in Chrome for your app so that you can test locally with the local model provided by Google. If you want to push this out to your users, then you need to register for the origin trial. I'll leave a link in the description below. With Chrome flag set, you're ready to get started adding hybrid AI features to your app. Say you have a restaurant review app and you want to help your users provide better reviews. You want to add a feature that automatically generates a star rating and extracts the main highlights and lowlights from a user's review. You can use the hybrid capability to do the inference here. Just use the mode that prefers the on-device model. And then, if the on-device model isn't available, like when the user is on a different browser or the on-device model needs to be downloaded, the SDK will automatically route the request to the cloud-hosted model as a fallback. This gives your users a seamless experience to switch between executing locally and on the cloud without changing their in-app experience all that much. By using the prefer on-device mode, we can also minimize the monetary amount we spend on inference from the larger models for these smaller tasks. By using the built-in Chrome model, you also avoid the costs of transferring a best spoke model and preparing it yourself for inference. Now that you have your model preference set up, you'll want to set some parameters for inference. In the configuration settings for get generative model, you can configure two more objects. One for a cloud hosted model and one for an on-device model. Fortunately, a lot of these inputs in this case overlap, but there may be instances where you want the cloud model to handle data differently since it's much larger than the on-device model. In the demo case here, prompt options is set to be a schema object that's defined elsewhere. This would be the same as the generative config object for the parameters of a cloud hosted model. You can also set the initial prompts for the on-device model, which would be similar to the system instructions in the case of the prompt for a cloud hosted model. Once you have all this configured, you can test out your prompt. Let's go to the site and give it a try. I'm going to leave a review that says, the burger was excellent, but the fries were a little salty and we'll see the response. We can see that after launching the page, that this ran inference using the cloud model. It will take some time for the on-device model to be downloaded. So I'll be back after a bit to check on it. I'm back. Let's try that again. I'm going to run the same prompt and disconnect the site from the internet using Chrome DevTools. After a brief moment, this is the message I get. It looks pretty similar to the response from the larger model. And this is definitely something I think I would offload to run on device. The really neat part is that the same model is reused by Chrome on every site that calls for on device LLM inference using this API. Your requests are ephemeral and the state is never shared between sites. So ultimately, you really only need to wait for one site to download the on device LLM before other sites can use it. That was a brief overview of the hybrid AI SDK from Firebase. 
now in the experimental phase. We're in the early stages of this capability and we're always looking for feedback on the hybrid AI SDK experience. Visit the links in the description to give feedback directly to the team. I'm Arthur Thompson. Let me know what you're using for local inference below.